the road. There was a man on the side of the road, and he got hit. Please. A woman's desperate call for help just seconds after she hit and killed a Jupiter firefighter along I-95. Good evening. I'm Tiffany Kenny, And I'm Felicia Rodriguez. Thanks for joining us. Several people called 911 after seeing that deadly crash that killed Kevin Johns, a married father of three. Our Angela Rosier has been covering this story since it happened yesterday. She joins us live from Boca with more of that heart-wrenching call for help. Ange? Felicia and Tiffany, when we talked to that driver at the scene on Tuesday morning, she told us she dialed 911 when she realized she hit someone on the highway. And as you said, her call and others made that morning will now be used to help with the investigation. He's breathing. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, can you hear me? He's breathing, but I need to be here. Please hurry. That's Lorenza Simmons talking to Kevin Johns just after she hit him with her car. He was on the side of the road changing a flat tire at the time. Now, Simmons told dispatchers she was trying to avoid hitting the SUV in front of her when she veered off the road and hit Lieutenant Johns. No, I wasn't going fast. I, the man is in front of me just like slowed down like I know him. And I went to swerve out of the road and I went to miss his car because I saw his car. And he must have been on the side of the car. The Johns, a 28-year veteran firefighter, was on his way to work in Fort Lauderdale at the time of the crash. He died a few hours later at the hospital. Florida Highway Patrol is working in the case. A local lawmaker is asking for a formal investigation. He wants to make sure the cell phone records of the drivers involved are examined. That's something that uh, we'll be looking at as part of the investigation. And if, if we determine that, you know, a person was on their cell phone, uh, the case will be reviewed through the state attorney's office for charges. Lieutenant Johns worked at the fire station 13 in Fort Lauderdale. Now, he was supposed to retire next year. His friends tell us he was looking forward to spending more time with his family. Now, as far as that investigation goes, officials tell us that right now no charges have been filed. They say investigations like these usually take several weeks. Now, coming up at 6, I'll tell you what, if any, the move over law played a factor in this case. Reporting live in Boca Raton, Angela Rosier, WPBS 25 News.